about blessings and blessings, guys. My name is Preston Smiles, and I help people get free from the inside out. And today's transmission is uh, <laughs> a juicy one. Stop chasing specific people mm, and watch what happens. Some of you right now are chasing people, whether it is in a relationship, you have idolized and pedestaled, or whether it is in a business relationship, whether it is in a social media relationship, you have put people in a position of power, which makes them have to run. Anything you chase will produce the opposite of what you desire. Now, hmm, we know at this point, and this is not just metaphysics, this is not just uh, woo-woo uh, mystic talk, this is science. We know that everything is energy and that the energy of chasing is a form of resistance. And resistance places whatever you're focusing on deeper into your consciousness, deeper into your experience. Even if something else appears, you cannot even receive it because oof, you're in resistance. Now, there's a beep happening. That is a alarm, um, which is signaling for new batteries or a fire in this room. Now, I know it's not a fire in this room, but let's just roll with it and take this, uh, this and, and, and help it make sense for your life. This video is, is the beep. This video is the signal to you, the reminder to you to stop chasing. I am chirping for your goodness. I am chirping for that which is calling you forward. What you seek is seeking you. Now, here's how I know. This is not just woo-woo talk. This is not just me regurgitating. Hmm. Nine years ago, there's only, there's only been two times in my life where I thought, uh, this is my one. And the first one was with uh, a girl named Katrina. And Katrina uh, was somebody I idolized. I met her and instantly became um, engulfed in her energy. Now type yes or put me in the comments if you've also had an experience like this where you meet someone and, and you feel so good around them that it becomes almost addictive. Mm. So I became so addicted to Katrina's energy that she began to feel that and pull away. Now, hmm. I don't believe in mistakes. No mistakes. And so I'm going to caveat this entire conversation with you're in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing. There's no way to get this wrong. And if you would like to experience a smoother path, a smoother road, uh, pay attention. I was trying to force the universe's hand. I was trying to uh, make sure that she was it, which kept me from listening and paying attention. And so the universe matched that energy and produced the experience of not enoughness because I gave Katrina my power. I made her my God unconsciously. And some of you right now are doing that. You're making other people your God. And by doing so, you are void of your own godness and goodness. Hmm. And so to make a long, beautiful, drawn out, jacked up, heartfelt story short, she broke my heart and it fixed my vision. It helped me see with the eye behind the eye what was truly happening and therefore I learned to fall in love with me. The process of falling in love with me was where I, which is why I help people get free from the inside out because I had, Katrina was an outside in. I only felt free when she was there. I only felt free when she loved me. Ooh, type me, type me, type yes Preston if you hear what I'm saying. 
When I shifted that from mm, perfect, whole, and complete, but not finished, unique emanation of the Most High, when I, when I shifted that to I receive my marching orders, when I shifted that to yes, God, yes, Spirit, I got the principle that Spirit can only do for you what it can do through you. It can only do for you what it can do through you. I became a vibrational match and then my wife, Alexi, appeared. And that one, that one was healthy. There's a distinction and a difference between when you enter a relationship from wholeness versus uh, dependency, versus I need. I walked into my relationship with Alexi from perfect, whole, and complete. And so did she. Now, it doesn't mean we didn't have our wounds. It didn't mean we didn't come with our own baggage. But there was, there was a fullness, and that fullness produced. It produced uh, tours where we, where we did workshops all over the world. It produced joy and play where we were all over in Greece and Africa and doing all kinds of amazing things together, falling in love, rising in love. And that rising in love produced Kingston. And then the twins, Zai and Zahara, and then Cassius. And here we are, eight years later, living the dream. And so please, I'm gonna stop there. Please leave a comment if this landed, if this resonated, and if it, if it really did, send it to somebody. Blessings. And blessings, make sure you go to PrestonSmiles.com because uh, I have stuff there that I only release through my website. Uh, if you wanna work with me, I have amazing programs and things that are possible for you in this lifetime that are affordable. So. Blessings and blessings. I love you all so much. Thank you for your time and your attention. Let's go. Hurrah!